Clark. Hey, Roxy needs to enlighten. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right, you're did nobody did nobody know you was white until this moment? <laughs> Literally nobody knew. So here's the deal. Oh, I know you're back. Hey, Clark Beckham. What's Welcome up, man? To the virtual show. Jesus loves the flat five. What is that? I'm so glad you asked. So <laughs> <laughs> It refers to uh, like it's a it's a, refers to a chord that I really like. So it refers to this this chord right here. Come on. Flat five. The. Well, how about we just get into it? I, you got the lighting in the background, the colors, the guitar, the ambiance. I feel good. What have you been up to during this crazy time in history? Man, uh, touring musicians are kind of canceled. So in my opinion, there are like five major pillars to what makes an artist, mm. in my opinion, like a complete mm -hmm. artist. voice. Instrumentation, because I you don't have to play an instrument to be an artist. Obviously, some of the greatest artists of all time don't play. But in my opinion, it's a it's an important pillar to be able to accompany yourself, especially as an independent artist. Yeah. Okay, so you got voice, uh, instrumentation, um, uh, arrangement theory, and then mm. just general practical music theory, and then songwriting. Cause you got to write your own songs, especially starting out. And then five would be just like general music business talk for independent artists. So I put myself out to do lessons on um, either one of those pillars to everybody, to anybody that wants to. So I've, I've adapted, now I'm like a music teacher. So that's, that's why I've got this whole setup. Like this is all set up for teaching. Clark, you better come on and pivot. You heard my <laughs> voice crack just now. <laughs> That's how excited I am about that. That is a pivot. How do people get to your class? How do they take your classes? Where can they find it? All you have to do is email BeckhamLessons at gmail.com, B-E-C-K-H-A-M. Oh, we're going to put it at the bottom of the screen so everybody can go and check that out. Love that. Isn't, I'll take a class, uh, lesson. <laughs> the Clark lesson. <laughs> I'll take a lesson from Clark. Clark knows what he's doing. One okay. of the best lessons I do is is like uh like style and runs and how Ooh. to how to do runs when you can't do runs until you can do runs. You know what I mean? Okay, so what do you give them a little bit of a taste of the class? What would you say in that sure. topic? The most common run is a five note pentatonic scale run. So if, like uh, like that run. Whoa! That's everybody's like, I want to try that one, and it's yes. really and it's super common, but the most effective runs are actually what I call like three note runs and then a couple bridge notes and then three note runs. So like, ah, so like- I'll pause, pause. Shh, 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 shh. Give my notepad and pen, please. <laughs> I just need to, I feel like I'm gonna have to write some stuff down. Cause he said three and then a bridge and then Madison Square Garden, Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> And I got mixed up. And you're just doing three note runs because most people can do three note runs. It's just a note selection. And then we talk uh -huh. about non diatonic chords. So, you know, the um, if I could, could forget him, I would please believe me. That run and the In Love with Another Man, Jasmine Sullivan, uh -huh. that one is what kills everybody. And it's because really? she runs over the non, and I explain what this means, the non-diatonic note of the non-diatonic chord, which is a special chord. You got all that? Non-diabetic non chord. <laughs> I'm really going to consider taking this class because you've said a lot of words that I've heard, but I have no idea how to apply them. So that's like my favorite thing is showing everyone like we've all heard these words before. A lot of us have been taught what yes. they are, but we have no idea how to use them. Yeah. Like what I like to show them. And growing up in church, like, yeah, I can recognize a run. I can duplicate a run. I can create my own run. But I really would love to know the technical aspects into like, well, what am I doing? Actually, if I had to write what I was doing on paper, what would it look like? You know, if I had to play it. Yeah. 
So yes, come on, Clark, with the with the knowledge. Go take his class. We ain't gonna give you no more lessons on this video because he ain't working for free. Okay, <laughs> we are in a quarantine. quarantine. So, <laughs> BeckhamLessons.com. No, that's not it. BeckhamLessons mm -mm. at gmail.com. That's what it is. What has been going on since the last time I saw you? What's new in these streets before COVID? Well, the tour was big. That was a really fun thing. So it was my second tour ever. And it was based off of this new album that's coming out. It's called Lightyear. You thought it was kind To give me a call Bad news is bad news and hurts just the same after all. If that's how you felt, I'm glad that I know. I don't want you to leave, but if you don't want to stay, you should. That's fine with me. I'll be all right. You'll see. Back to the way that it's always been. It's just me who believes in me. And right there, live, it drops hard. And I have the keyboard, so let me just give you the drop. Uh, back to the way. And it's always been It's just me Who believes in me That's one of them. I wrote foolish <laughs> on the paper. That's all. I don't know if they can see it. There ain't nothing up here but the word foolish. It's not out yet, but it's. <sighs> it's coming. That's amazing. We're, we're just going to play your music today. Is that all right? Oh my gosh. Okay. You, I think when we talked last, I was engaged. Yes. Right? Well, we're supposed to get married in like a week and a half. <sighs> I got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm what, what happened? <laughs> okay. One of the songs is about her. It's called Luckiest Man. Oh, shit. Here we go. You know Clark loves a good tearjerker. Well, I've never seen the moon so bright. It's never felt this good outside. I've never been in love, but I wouldn't mind spending life with you spending my life with you and i never thought it'd feel like this the way we laugh the way we kiss it's slow at first and then it hits knocks me out i'm falling to the floor Every day I fall a little more yes. If my heart stops beating If my lungs stop breathing And we just got this evening Till I'm out of time I might be bleeding Oh, but baby, I'm feeling That if the end is tonight Then the moment I die I'd be the luckiest man Who I've been alive 
You're ridiculous. You're literally ridiculous. I don't have time. Thank you. I'm I'm so lucky. And you know what? This is gonna sound really corny, really hallmark, and really like church boy. Give it to me. But, um, like us us delaying getting married for like mm -hmm. four or five months in this quarantine, like it's really allowed us to grow in our friendship with each other mm. in a way that I don't think we would have been able to 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 do if we were married, just certain things that we're, you know, deciding to do and wait for while we're dating and things yes. like that. Like our friendship is growing rapidly. And I'm, I'm, you know, we're like, do like, cause she stays over here a lot and she'll just stay in my room and then I'll stay in like the other room and then we'll come together and like, we're reading a couple chapters of the Bible, like in the together in the morning, like doing all these things, like, I just never would have really thought, honestly, like I just never would have really thought to do these things and finding the preciousness in these moments. And they're, yes. so, they're really, they're, it's, it's been really wonderful. And, and I, I think it's for the, for the better because won't he work all things for the good. Together for my good, Clark. That's right. I knew you'd like that scripture reference. So I, just, I threw that in there for you. <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to answer or not answer, because it's your business. But I mean, you know, we're friends here, and I just have to ask. You said, how long have I been together? Four, four years. Four years. And when she come over, y'all sleep like that? Y'all sleep like that? Yep. Separate? Yep. Wow. That's amazing. You know, it, it's like... That's so holy. There's many reasons. One of them is like... We want to make sure when we're married, it feels like we're married for the first time. You know what I mean? That's part of, I mean, there's so many reasons, but like part of it's like, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of reasons. So basically you're saying y'all have waited or you're waiting till marriage. Yeah, we're, we're 100%. Yeah, we've both waited. That is so cool. Oh. My God, I don't think I've ever met a single human being that is married, that waited until they're married. And I come from a place where that's like a thing. And both of us, that's the cool thing. Wow. Like we both, like both of us are virgins. Wow. Clark, <laughs> shut your, shut up. You kidding me? That's wild. Clark, that is amazing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes! So now I'm, now I'm upset, though. Why? Because next week, y'all are supposed to get it on. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I know. <laughs> that, the, the ultimate most powerful cock block has been COVID. <laughs> so now in this four or five month period, because it could be four or five months before we're up out of this thing, um, y'all not considering, like, you know, getting, like, a certificate just so you can... Ha ha ha. In the meantime, no. We we thought about just like running to the, cause I've got a friend, I've got a friend of mine and I won't say his name. I think you know who he is, but he had a wedding and then it was like, I can't wait. And so he went to the courthouse with his, with his now wife and yes. got married as a secret. He told me that he's like, Hey bro. Well, that's one option for you. It's what I did. I know. That's what I was saying. I'm like, I mean, I mean, you can do this because technically your date can say the same for the two of you, but for everybody. But, you know, I'm just messing with you. I think it's beautiful. I think that is so cool. But I am interested, though. And, like, just for anybody else out there who may be watching who is trying to wait or just want to wait, how did y'all... Four or five years? How did you do it? Is there a secret? Is there a cheat code well, to waiting for marriage? Part of it is like, it's. I think it's easier to, this might sound silly, but I think it's easier to not have sex when you've never had sex before, rather than yeah. when you've already had sex before. That's like, I think way harder to, to abstain. I don't know. I'm just, I think so. That is the most admirable thing I have ever heard heard i'm really you know it's funny because i said that i was gonna do that at some point i did and then i went to high school 
and it all went to shit. <laughs> that's the thing. I'll, that's the other thing I'll say, like very, very boldly, is that my best days are like filthy rags. So my abstaining <gasps> is like filthy rags, according you know when it's when it's next to the grace of God. So <clears throat> whether you waited or not, whether I'm talking to you or anyone that's listening, when we have, for, I don't know why this has turned into like a church podcast thing right now, but get it. When Do we, it. When when we when we accept the grace of God. Anyone is 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 as clean or cleaner than anything that I've that I can hold up to. I mean, it doesn't matter if you've abstained or not. Obviously, you want to, but if you've messed up, like fallen, like all of us have, we've all fallen short. His his covering to make us clean is way cleaner than me just not having sex. You know what I mean? Clark, Clark, sing another damn song in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I can't. Oh. I never would have made it. I'm going to slap him. I never would have made it without you. I would have lost it all. But now I see you were there for me. And I can say. I never would have made it Oh, I never would have made it Without you I would have lost it all But now I see You were there for me And I can't say I never would have made it I'm gonna call Marvin and ask him if I can make that like the official theme song of Terrell at Home. Cause we're just getting so, you know, with the, with the usual show, Clark, as you know, cause you were here, we sing, we laugh, we play, we talk, we go back and forth to death to death. But Terrell at Home is bringing out a very just conversational, let's get into it type of vibe. And then when you start to peel back the layers, um, of everyone who is on this screen, you start to discover how much we have in common. Like everybody's in different places in their lives and doing different things. But when you peel back all of the layers of the onion at the core, we all share struggles, trials, tribulations. And you are the fourth or fifth person to sing that song right after talking about something important in their life, something crazy that had happened, something that they really believe I never would have made it without him. It's such an interesting thing, this, this, I don't know, this nook is, this nook got juju on it. We'd sit at the table, just your mom and me, talk about love and God and articles we'd read. Just the other day, though, at the cafe down the street, I saw her there, and she saw me, and she stood up to leave. Cause I give in, I give in, I feel it too much. Sometimes I wish I could give love enough. Cause I put my everything 
emotions as soon as you start playing or you start singing it's almost like there's a switch it's like you're in it now and when you're singing it you mean it and you are putting yourself back into the situation that you were in when you wrote it you know yeah that's so it's that's just beautiful. thank you you know there's i think it was nina simone there are videos of her singing wait is it me i can't remember it's who's nina simone is that a singer or an actress? Oh, God. Is that like who? Hold on a second. Oh, no. Nina, so who played Rudy on the Cosby? Oh. Clark. Okay, Roxy. In Let life. me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right, you're did nobody did nobody know you was white until this moment? <laughs> Literally, nobody knew. Nobody knew. <laughs> So I really appreciate you editing this to make everybody <laughs> right. Trust me, I'm going to cut all that out. There are videos of Nina Simone singing in like in this these random dive bars and stuff. And she's singing and she gets so into the song that she's startled by the applause. Like she's so into it. And then people start clapping and you can literally see her go like, like she forgot that she was performing for people. Do you ever play keys like while you're praying or like worshiping? I, I, absolutely. Can you play something, don't sing, but play something that could be in the background while somebody's pr praying. We'll call it the quarantine prayer or something. You got it. Okay.
<laughs> I can't remember who said it, but there's a quote that says, uh, praying is something like, praying is when I talk to God. Like meditation is when I listen. Mm. And playing piano, I can do both. Clark, you are amazing, 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 amazing. I don't know what we have done to deserve your talent on planet Earth, but I am so grateful. <laughs> so, so grateful. And I'm grateful for you and everything that you've done. And, and you talk about, hold on, hold on, let me just say this real quick. What happened? You talk about me like being prepared and like doing lessons when we have quarantine. Like you are yeah. the like pinnacle of what I look up to when I think of someone who just took charge and just didn't just lay down and be like, oh, I sure like to have a career. Like someone who just took it into their own hands mm. and worked their ass off to get to where you are now and what you're doing. Even your ba your backdrop is so dope. And listen, oh, you didn't have to do, this is the point. You didn't have to do all that. Like mm. you didn't have to, but you did to make it the best you can possibly make. And yeah. here's what I look up to when I'm doing lessons, when I'm doing, I mean, and it goes to even like when I'm making arrangements, like I don't have to do the, <laughs> but I can because we're should. trying to make it best we can. Yes. And that's what you do. I mean, so, you know, don't, 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 don't get, <laughs> you know, don't let anyone get confused talking about me being someone who's like taking the bull by the horns during quarantine. Like you're, what you're doing and what you've done to this point has been incredible so i'm 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 grateful for you um more than more than anything in, in oh. this clark jesus <laughs> thank I mean, you so much this has been so hard for everyone it's just really affected every single life and it can be very tempting and easy to be like I'm just gonna just wait it out and do absolutely nothing. And and I and that, that's a fair assessment because this is a traumatic time. And I think, you know, if there's anything that I can do is I wanna show people that there is another way. There is, you if you think hard enough and you, and you pray hard enough, you believe hard enough, you can figure something out to try to, get through this time and the only way I could tell somebody that is if I try to live that and prove it and be an example that okay I'm not just talking about it let I'm doing it so hopefully it motivates everybody to you know at least give it a, a give it a shot so thank you for that it does and if it, 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 it does and I, I I know I represent uh, hundreds of thousands of people when I say that Clark, I have to go I, go. I can't do it. That's Thank fine. you for being here <laughs> virtually. What you do. Go get Clark's new single. Stream it over and over and over and over again. Hey, thanks for watching Terrell at Home. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more, go to theterrellshow.com to get more. Let the married bed be undefiled.